Hello child of God. The purpose of this video is to explain how you can regrow celery successfully in your windowsill at home and then possibly transplant it into your garden. The pictures you see now are random images of the regrowing process. The process is so simple that the pictures are self-explanatory. The customary way of regrowing celery and many other vegetables is to just cut the stalk off at the bottom and root them in water. There is some success in this, but it's not overwhelming. There are many ways to have fun experimenting and multiplying your own success. When I began regrowing this celery, I had three main goals in mind. I wanted to see if I could regrow several plants from one stalk. I wanted to test my hydroponic fertilizer mixture and to see if it was going to work well in my springtime garden experiments or I was going to kill the plants. And I wanted to develop a method for regrowing vegetables in the harsh environments in third world countries. I began with the theory that if vegetables can be successfully grown in a mixture of hydroponic fertilizer and water alone, then the poor soils of the places like mountains and deserts could be farmed with the correct mixture of hydroponic fertilizer and the proper adjustments to sunlight, pH, and temperature. Here are a few tips to assist your success in regrowing celery. First, locate the largest organic celery stalk that you can find in the store. Now, when you start with organic, you do not have to wonder whether you're regrowing GMOs or not. Fill the bottom of the stalk through the bag for a little bit of root. Carefully, surgically, remove all the outer stalks for eating. This leaves the yellow, underdeveloped inner stalk that we normally throw away. Carefully slice and save the outside pieces of the stalk. These will also regrow. I sliced mine to fit the drinking cup I was planting it in. You must keep the roots on the bottom of the stalk damp with water even when the water level is dropping off. I used strips of newspaper to continuously wick up the water to the root cells. Net cups can be purchased online or made from small drinking cups. Then place your plant in the sunlight so that the stalk and leaves will continue to grow. Parts of the celery plant will decay and be cannibalized by the new growth. This may cause a slight odor, but it's not really noticeable unless you have your nose very close to the plant. I used the old ragu sauce jars filled with hydroponic fertilizer mixed in water. In this case, I placed eight in a pop bottle carton and covered it in a black plastic bag to keep out the sunlight. As I harvest the celery, I return the rooted stalk back to fresh mixture of hydroponic fertilizer mixed in water. I am so excited about the success of the hydroponic fertilizer mixture in water that I plan to post another video dedicated to that subject. If you're interested in end time Bible prophecies, as the U.S. and the rest of the world goes into the tribulation period, Please watch my End Time Bible Prophecy series. You are welcome to post your comments and questions below. May God bless you and keep you and pray that the Yellowstone volcano does not erupt. God bless.